Okay, here comes a, another video. Again, this is my 2018 Casita. And if you've been watching some of the earlier videos, you know that I've been replacing these brakes, electric brakes, and I went with this never adjust. Now, I'm gonna pick up here and we're gonna get ready to connect. Now remember, polarity does not matter. Uh, and they sent these also, so uh, these little connectors. Some people use butt connectors, but I'm just using the what they sent me. Okay, and so I'm gonna grab one of these here. All right. You probably know this routine. You want to get a good connection here. And then we're going to close this up. Okay. And that's one. And then we'll do the other one. Now, they come with this on there already stripped. I didn't strip that, so. I'm just going to leave it as it is and push it through. And then we'll do this final one. Notice I'm coming from the other direction. All right. And here we go again. We got to apply some pressure here. So it pinches it. Gets a good connection. All right. And then we'll close the, the lap latch here. Okay. Now, all right, now I'm going to come back, and since it was originally that way, I'm going to take a zip tie, uh, and I'm going to push these down, and I'm going to put a zip tie around that to keep them out of the way. All right, now, I have already attached my new brake. Uh... But notice now, again, this is the right side. Now, I'm on the passenger side, which is the right side. You can see the short bonded brake here and the longer one on the back going toward the rear. The magnet at the bottom, wiring at the top. You can see all this. So Now, once you have that installed, I cleaned this all up earlier. And uh, I've attached four new bolts. On the back now I went ahead and replaced them with grade 8 uh, bolts uh, you probably could get away with grade 5 uh, but uh, I use grade 8 on pretty much everything it's uh, pennies more but it gives you a lot more uh, security so okay now I've attached them and remember on my casita I have these uh, shocks attached so the back plate of those shocks I showed you in an earlier video also get uh, attached so that's already tighten down this is on here now I am ready to proceed to put the hub on and so that's what we're gonna do next uh, now I bought the hub you can see in this video it came with new lug nuts now it was not pressed so I went ahead and greased this inner bearing and uh, also this seal and they had to be pressed in so that's been done. Sometimes you buy these, they may already be pressed for you. But I'm ready now to install it. Now I'm going to set this in place. Right here. And the brakes are a little tight. I'm going to have to adjust them. Let's see. Okay. All right. So that's inserted. Now, if you remember, we're going to reverse the sequence here now you probably got a new bearing set that's already pre-greased for you if not the same thing you're going to have to grease it and then you're going to insert it of course and you got a d-ring washer see the d-ring it'll only insert in one direction then they're going to send you a new nut here it is Use a thread on. 
And like I was telling you in earlier videos, these do not get locked down super tight. Now, if you press it, they tell you to do this at 50 foot pounds and then back it off. I use my channel lock pliers, uh, as you saw in my earlier video. And I'm gonna bring these, bring it around. And uh, now if you have a big socket head size that'll fit this, and I probably do somewhere, like I said in my shop, but just use these channel lock pliers. I'm gonna spin this on here. Let me get it this way. Here, roll it on there. Now I'm gonna tighten it down with my hand pretty tight, but then I'm gonna back off. Because these, if you've taken them off, you know they're not super tight. Uh, and they've got a locking pin on here too. Or I guess you'd call a locking bracket. You know, so. All right, now, here we go. I'm gonna lock it down. Oops. I'm gonna back off just a tad. Now, then I'm going to need to put this locking bracket on. So let me get it. Now, this is tricky. Let me get it ready and I'll show you. took it off I showed you this remember it has also that little D indent so we can only go on one way and that that D has to sit in there and then these have to clip over that and this can be tricky and I have to take something and tap it on I don't I guess my age I don't have the force I used to have so I kind of tap this on to get it to lock into place there. See? And that's your little locking piece. Now, the only other thing that's left to do is, of course, put your dust cap on and your seal here. Uh, these are easy lubes, so what I'm gonna do, I'm finish this up, let me get my grease gun. Easy lube. So we're gonna put this on. I'm using high temperature. Now, what we're gonna do is there's an orifice in there, and as you pump this in, that orifice is orifices. That orifice uh, is basically pumping that grease back, and it's gonna come out here. And when we reach that point, I'm gonna stop. That'll run out of grease first. We want to pump that. Now, I think Casita recommends that you replace this every year or inspect, replace, repack. Now here it comes. You can see the grease now coming. You see the grease around the ring. So I'm gonna stop at that point. I don't wanna over grease it either. So I'm gonna stop at this point, pull that off. Now, at this point, they've sent me new lug nuts course so I literally all I have to do now is put my dust cap on put my tire back on put my strap around this and that's a job done so 
This is an 8247 if you get ready to order one. Now I bought original Dexter, everything original Dexter. I did upgrade these to never adjust brakes this time. So hopefully this is helpful and uh, should be a, a, my final video. It should complete the job.